Hi crafty friends, it's Carrie here and I wanted to pop in and share a little technique tip with you to make some really cute color coordinated tissue paper for your little treasure bags or your little gift bags that are so fun to make from this brand spanking new Wendy Becky Make Art set called Let's Shop. And in the Let's Shop set, you will see that there is a complete set of stamps with a fun shopping bag, a coffee mug, or a latte mug, and a lot, a lot, a lot of sentences and sentiments. I chose to cut up all of the sentiments from the center, but this sentiment right here, here's a little thank you to you from me, is a complete sentiment. And I just cut each piece apart so I have a little bit more versatility in um, designing my uh, sentiments when I want to kind of mix it up a little bit. So that's a little tip also. But I have the dies. This is like the to die for die because it's so fun and it's such a quick and easy gift uh, project that you can make for your family or your friends or even as a kindergarten teacher, it's going to be a little fun little a treat bag for my kids for welcoming them back to school since we're, we just started um, concurrent learning just this past week. And then look at that stencil, it's so fun. You have some stripes and polka dots and a little handle stencil. But I think also if you look at and pair these two together, that kind of makes a fun coffee cup, don't you think? So I think I have some inspiration just by seeing these two images together. All right, so the inks that we'll be using are the brand new archival inks from Ranger. This is has to be uh, probably one of my most favorite and go-to uh, combinations of colors that I use in my palette when I tend to be making. I don't really plan when I'm creating. So when I have an end product, many, many, many times, these are the three colors that uh, tend to show up in my designs. So I was so excited to see them come out in archival inks. So adding to my collection and my full set syndrome, I'm even closer to getting the full set. So, oh, keep making more. All right, so the first one is called Night Sky. It's a beautiful, beautiful blue color, deep, but it can be uh, muted down a little bit too. So it is a blueberry-ish, a jean, um, just a gorgeous blue color. Then we have this beautiful petunia color, and this is actually the color of my furniture upstairs in my sitting room. And I don't really love purple, to tell you the truth, but this purple is absolutely one of my favorite colors. I think it probably has to do with the reds and the blues in it, so it's kind of like a combination of these two colors together. It's just amazing, I love it. So this is Petunia. And then the last color that is the new is in the new release is called Mulberry. And it is a beautiful pink, reddish mulberry color. Also kind of reminds me of raspberry um, and a little bit of cranberry too. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reddish pink. All right, so let's get started. Here's the first bag that I made. And when I made the bag, I thought, I really want to put some treats and stuff and some surprises inside the bag. But I like to have bags with tissue paper inside them. And I didn't have any tissue paper, but I remembered I had some Christmas tissue paper. And I like to use white tissue paper at Christmas time. I don't know why. It's, for some reason, it's just like my go, just growl all. But I thought, oh, I can cut it down and make it into little pieces so I can stuff some in here. And then I thought, ooh, I need to color coordinate the white paper so it will be so perfectly coordinated and matchy-matchy. So I decided to cut some white tissue paper down into these squares. So let me show you. Let's see. I think it's like five inches by five inches. Don't have my hand. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Just a second. I have my ruler stuck to the back of my make art board. Okay, so 
yeah, it's about five, six actually, six inches by six inches. So I made a whole bunch of pieces with one sheet of the standard size tissue paper. And then after that, I took the brand new Ranger Tim Holtz dome daubers that they just came out with just a few days ago as well to be able to create some really pretty tie dye type tissue paper that matches some of the design. I also used a little Wink of Stella in there too to make it a little shimmery, but you don't have to do that. I just like sparkles, so you know, sparkle, sparkle. Okay, so let me show you how to get this done. It's really, really, really easy and really fun. You're going to need some tissue paper, some of your archival ink. It does say it's waterproof, but we're going to make it bleed a little bit in this technique because of the tissue paper and the water. Now, you might say, what are you using Gardenia Body Splash for? Actually, it's not. It's just a recycled bottle that I put water in. I really like this bottle because it holds a lot of water and the spritzer is super, super, super fine. It's my favorite spritzer out there. Um, even better than some of the other ones that you can buy. So I just recycle and have been using this. You can see how yellow the bottle is probably for about 10, maybe 12 years or so. So I just keep refilling it and use it as a water bottle, water spritzer. Okay, hope you recycle too. Okay, so the next thing is you can also use uh, an old toothbrush if you wanted to splatter some other ink on to make some spots and some splatter on your design. But for now, I'm just going to show you the quick technique of being able to just make one piece anti-dye it and beautifully. Oh, forgot. You also need a heat gun. So whatever heat gun you have, make sure you grab your heat gun. This is an oldie but goodie that I love to use and I can't part with it. So I'm going to use that one. It'll be noisy for just a little bit. Okay, and then I hold with my hand, but you might choose to hold it with a tweezer as you're drying this project. All right, so I'm going to start with any of the three colors. I'll start with the red, and I'm going to use one dauber for each color and then save my daubers and just put them on the back side in the crevice here. All right, so I start off by just putting a little ink on and just blending it onto the tissue paper. Not too much, you don't have to be too heavy with it. Just put it where you think you like it. Okay, just a few more bits of this color. I like this technique also because you can pick and choose how intense some of the color is. You can choose how heavy um, of the mulberry you want on the on the little square versus how many how much blue you want so it's really fun to create some fun blended things it's okay if you have little circles here they'll all blend out e, um, in the process all right so i'm going to put my little thing there stack my colors as i use them put my ink pad uh, dauber here then i'll start on some of the petunia my favorite color is blue, so I will have my page be a little bit more blue heavy than uh, the other colors too, so. And then you just blend, 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 easy, easy peasy. Just a little bit of purple in mine since I like it just like an accent. Plus that red there will blend a little bit too to make a little bit more purple. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I hope you're in, you enjoyed Wendy's video on Facebook about all of the beautiful projects she created with her brand new sets. I'm in love with the award-winning set as well, and I have some cute projects that I'll be sharing with that set too. So stay tuned. All right, so I think that's good for my mulberry, uh, not mulberry, sorry, petunia. 
And then I'm going to move on to the night sky. The night sky is going to fill this paper up here in the corner. I'm also using a blending mat because it works really good with my heat gun and I find I can clean it easier, much easier. So I just use the little magnets and stick it to my makeup table. Just a quick, 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 quick pass through the whole page. All right. All right, so I think I have mine done. So I have all three colors on, and now we're ready to make the magic happen. So fun. Okay, I'm gonna put these to the side. It's gonna be a little wet. All right, so first thing you do is if you like to use sparkle, once you spray it, you can add the Wink Stella or the Nouveau Sparkle, either one that you have. So I'm going to spritz it and I'm going to soak it. And when I soak it, the color will bleed together and make a really beautiful blend. And I can say also, when it does blend, some of the dots show up here, but then when you dry them, let me show you, when you dry it completely, the, the little circles just disappear. They just bleed right in. All right, so I'm gonna put a few spritzes and sprinkles. Let's see if I can get it, get it going. There we go. All right, just a few drops. Sparkle, sparkle. This is my glitter. This is a Nouveau pen, and it's just an aqua shimmer pen. All right, now it's time to hit it with the heat gun. Now it takes quite a while uh, if you just keep it laying flat, but I like to dry a little bit of the, pro of, of the water on the top before I start lifting up the paper. But once you lift up the paper and start drying from the underside, it goes pretty quickly. And I just hold it a little bit. You can see some of the ink blending and bleeding onto the sheet. And that's great because then you can see that you can add that ink again just by laying your paper down. Add that ink to your paper again to make a beautiful blend. Okay, I'll use this side. Process goes pretty quickly if you have a good high powered heat gun. The Ranger heat gun works great too. Mine just uh, was too old and I need to replace it. So this is my other oldie but goodie I've had forever. Works wonders. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it over. See, it's starting to heat it, uh, dry up a little bit. Continue on drying it until it's completely dry. Lift my paper up. to hear it crackling because it's drying out really well. You can see some of my sparkle is showing up. All right, one last blow. And the page is complete. So take a look at this beautiful paper. 
it's got some shimmer and shine on it going through kind of like a, a marbling vein it's got a few bleeds here sometimes you get this effect it's really fun with some of that red ink pooling right there and creating a fissure before it dries completely you can also crumple your paper up before you do this and and as you dry it just keep crumpling it up and drying and you'll create lots of cracks in your ink when you're blow drying it or drying it all right so i have four extra now four beautiful pieces you can see this one really close up you can see that bleeding i love this effect right here and here so pretty all right so i have some really fun pieces of tissue paper now if you've ever used tissue paper on your cards as backgrounds they're really great too just put some spray adhesive on your uh, cardstock lay it down and use it as a background paper or like i did on my little project you can make cute 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 little tissue paper pieces for the insides of your little treat bags i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and i hope to see some fun little projects made uh, using this technique thanks for stopping by remember if you do not have the archival ink or you have them on pre-order in the meantime, if you would still like to use this technique, uh, Wendy's Make Art uh, Blendable Dye Inks work really well with this technique as well. If you saw my projects um, on the new release with my little uh, excuse me, leprechaun uh, gift bag that had the green rickrack uh, or the golden rickrack on it, as well as the stripes turned into plaid, I used some of the Buttercup and some of the Tiger Lily ink to create the blended paper for that bag. All right, so I hope you have a great day and enjoy making fun, beautiful projects using the brand new Wendy Vecchi Archival inks in three brand new beautiful colors. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.